like at that moment you was already on that, like a freestyle run. I was on a freestyle run, but that shit changed my. That shit, that was like the spark of my career. So like, wait, really. So is it fair to say Jay Hill got a, a pivotal moment in YG Tech career? Facts. Damn. Facts. A major man. That freestyle. I started getting booked for shows off of freestyle. That's crazy. I was performing a freestyle at my shows, and then you made it a song. I had to. Yeah. They made it a song. Facts. For for a year straight, it was not, my Insta Snap was. You seen that? Yeah. Yeah. My Insta Snap was full of my singing that a freestyle word for word. <laughs>
even now, the struggles that happen is like, man, of course it's me type shit. You say, do I still feel like I'm the poster child of this shit? Oh, the struggle. Fuck yeah. So you still feel like you're struggling now? No, I don't feel like I'm struggling now. It's, it's different struggles, like, you know what I'm saying? Not financially. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't struggling financially, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, I'm still a poster child of the struggle because of where I started at and where I'm at right now. Mm -hmm. I built it brick by brick. So that that part of my story will never change. Mm -hmm. It's a part of me forever, you know? What are the struggles now? What do they look like now? It's just like... It's like when you're playing a game, like once you beat this level, you're at a new level. You still got, you know what I'm saying? You still got to go through these obstacles to hit that level right there. And it'll never stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get, you start, you get your first 10,000, then you get your first 100,000. It's hard as shit to get your first million. You get, your, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like even people that's bigger than me still at that next level that they start over and got to, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the same struggles, just at a higher level. Yeah, I, I was talking to a couple of people at this point about like that, that middle stage. And I feel like, you're still in the middle stage, whereas though like you got success, mm -hmm. but it ain't like you're not an A-list success uh, right now, right. right? And I feel like the middle is probably harder than being at the bottom. Yeah, cause yeah. you getting you, you can't go talking. back, mm -hmm. and you gotta go up. <laughs> so it's like you you right, and it's it seems like it, it gets harder. By the, it's like because like you said, you can't go back. It's, mm -hmm. You you can't go you can't back. yeah you can't. But now niggas know your name, but they might talk to you. They might answer the phone, but they still playing with the feature or something like that. Right. Like, you know who the fuck I am. Yeah, like, you know, I know how I go. That's that's probably one of the most frustrating parts of this. Yeah. But I feel like this is that level where you bite down. Mm -hmm. This is that level where you show who you really is. Because I still feel like they don't know who the fuck I'm is. Even like, like they know my name, but y'all don't, don't, don't know who y'all looking at. Like, I feel I got more of a point to prove right now. I told it's like I'm starting over again. It's a new level. You know what I'm saying? And you probably don't feel the way I feel. I'm only uh, I'm probably the only person gonna see it this way. I'm looking at it through these two eyes. You're not gonna see it the way I see it. That's crazy, bro. I swear I feel exactly. I wanna how smoke you feel. right now though. Like it's it's like a new level to me. Yeah. Is it because you are on a level where people know who you are now? You gotta go like you pass. Just Baltimore now. Like sure. at one, I, if I, if only if I'm right, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like the first level is my city need to know who I am. I need mm -hmm. that respect. Right. Then once the city know you, you get some national buzz. And when you get the national buzz, it's like I know you, but they still like. Uh. Right. Is that the the level you saying? Like a new level? Yeah. It's like uh. All right, understanding that though, right? Mm -hmm. And you know one thing about us, like just niggas from Baltimore in general, we love our city. Like that's, right. We love that. Shit. But knowing you are the superstar in your city, though. Mm -hmm. Knowing that that used to matter, mm -hmm. how do you look at it now? It still matters a little bit, right? Like, how, like it never really mattered. Like, I never cared to be a superstar in my town. I always was thinking bigger than the city, but I wanted to conquer my city. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that was never my goal, like, be a superstar in the town. Do you feel the pressure of, you know how they say, what it, what, we've been having this conversation for years, bro, you know. Mm -hmm. What is it going to take for Baltimore to pop? What is it going to take for us to pop? We got to stick together like Atlanta. We got to stick. We've been having this conversation for years. Yeah. But I feel like, and, and you correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like people are saying, I know I'm saying, mm -hmm. it's going to take one nigga from the streets to make it, and he opened the floodgates for everybody else. And when I say one nigga, we all know who we talking about. We talking about tech. Right. Do you feel that pressure? Like, you got the city on your shoulders, like, you can't let niggas down? I feel like they need, I feel like the city definitely need me. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say pressure, because the people... The, I put enough pressure on myself that the pressure that they putting on me, that shit mean nothing because they pressure not as tough as the pressure I'm putting on myself. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely feel like it's going to take somebody that care, like myself, you get what I'm saying, to really open the floodgates for the city. Like that's really going to reach back, that really understand what it take to get to that. You know what I'm saying? Like I told you, I went, th I went through it step by step. You know what I'm saying? So I really understand how tough it is to... If you don't really understand how tough it is to bubble in our city, and uh, you know what I'm saying, you're not gonna feel it the same way. You ain't gonna feel that same urgency to reach back and you know what I'm saying, help them artists that's behind. Yo, can we ever do that though? Especially coming from where we come from, not even the streets, like not even no gangster, but just even the the softest nigga from Baltimore, I feel like got some grit in him. It's different, like mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. So like, even if you ain't the most hood nigga, coming from where we come from, do you think that you can be in the industry, open the door for other? And still 
have that love in the streets? Do you feel like the two can coexist? Yeah. They don't got nothing to do with each other. Come you on. don't really gotta like when you open the door up, you don't have to, you don't really gotta grab a person's hand. You know what I'm saying? Like you just got I feel like once you when you open the door up, I feel like whoever working at the time and putting in the work, you know what I'm saying? You shine like basically like I kick the door open, it's gonna be enough light shined in the city. Long because I'm still playing them parts a little bit and doing certain things, other people gonna be able to come in the door. I don't gotta grab his hand and grab I'm not babysitting nobody. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just the game period. You ain't gonna survive in the game if you wanna be like if you need to be babysitted. Mm. Most of these like big artists who come and sign artists, they sign people who already got their business structured. That way they don't gotta babysit you. They want your they they want your business to go ahead and run and make their business more money. You get what I'm saying? They ain't trying to babysit nobody. Mm. I ain't got time to, you know what I'm saying? I can I can assist you and help you with certain things, but I, I asked yeah. that because like, bro, you know, so for example, we just I just seen the interview on um Aunt Glitty talking about Baltimore to academics, right? Uh-huh. And I think academics brought up Shorty Shorty. And I'm going to bring him up too because I f*** with Shorty. Like, mm-hmm. I'm going to just be straight up. I say this publicly. I f*** with you. Mm-hmm. He had a, a big part of helping me come up too. For sure. And I feel like he's he's one of the people that's opened the door for the city. But because he won't give him his just due, mm-hmm. it's like it's still a hurdle that he's trying to get past. And I was wondering, yeah. like, it got to be some correlation from the streets and, and the music industry. Um, with certain situations, street rules still apply. But what I learned is like coming into this with that street, with the, with the street rules mindset, you'll lose like that. You'll lose like that fast. Mm, mm -mm. How do you separate the, how do you differentiate the two? That come with time and this too. Cause it's, it's been times like I react a certain way, like on some street shit. And then like, what should I just be like? I'm going to just go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? Don't be mad at me, but I would love to see y'all two work. Me and Shorty Shorty? Yeah. Talented. I would love to see y'all work, bro. Fire. He fire. Could you do that? Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Listen, guys, you can't be him if your balls need to trim. Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. If your lady's on go, but your meat got a fro... Yo, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. You want that jumper like Steph Curry, but your nuts is fairy? But nah, this episode is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped.com. Use promo code JHill for 20% off. They're going to give you a, the, the man bag. You know what I'm saying? When you're traveling, put all your grooming needs in the man bag. You don't got to carry it in your book bag. You don't got to be all over the place. You feel what I'm saying? They got the nose trimmer. Listen, man, some of y'all know it's disgusting out here. Get you a nose trimmer. For real. It's just disgusting. Some ball deodorant for when you out and about. You about to get it on. Put that ball deodorant on. Smell fresh. Brand new. And of course, the lawnmower 5. Make sure you holler at my guys at Manscaped. J-Hill promo code. J-Hill, one word. 20% off and free chipping. See, and like with this shit, it's politics. Mm. With this shit, it's politics. So it's never, it's not even really what it is. It's what it look like. That's all this shit is. It's an entertainment business, so it's not, it's never what it really is. Like, nigga could have did no wrong, but if he got a bunch of smoke around his name, you know what I'm saying? You got to protect your own stuff. I got to protect my brand, and there's nothing against, because I don't know nothing about nothing. You prepared for this shit? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> no, I'm saying for this interview, like, that but, was good. That was yeah. like, that's, I, I never heard nobody say it like that. That's the realest shit. No, for real, though. Like. I don't really know nothing about the situation or, or, or none of but that. But nah, that's some. But he like, fired though. That's some fire. real shit. That's cr- like you. It's like it's kind of about like guilty by association. Whatever the case, true or false, right? It's yeah. like, bro, it's hot right now. I gotta chill out. Type. Shit. Yeah. I get that. No, I damn. Well, bro, let me let me let me let me rewind. I wanted to start with this though. I wanted to talk about this. So first time we met, right? Mm-hmm. Freestyle. You, um, yeah, I wanted to talk about this. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. So look, we do the freestyle. Go ahead, right? get it going. Yo, you are probably one of the most strategic niggas in this game. Like you ain't doing nothing that don't make no sense, bro. Nothing. Can't. But I didn't know. Like so, I, I'm fresh into this, shit, right? Uh-huh. So I was going to freestyle detail already with freestyle, right? So I invite the nigga to do the freestyle. So he, he had his cameraman with him. And tell me you can stop me when I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> stop me when I'm lying. So he had his cameraman with him and, shit, and I guess I had a like 
Chris was helping me out at the time. And his, his man, I think it was uh, Ace. Ace. He said, yo, can we get the footage? <laughs> so my cameraman gave him the footage. What, ma- why, like, what? It don't make sense to this day. But things work how they work for a reason. We play. Who, who knows? It wasn't supposed to go like that, but it, it was. Yo. So wait, so y'all didn't plan to, to, to do that? We did. We did. So but what? I was going, but. I was gonna let you, I was gonna let you know I wanted I, I want to use it for my platform. Okay. At first I was mad as hell, right? Uh huh. But like having some some like growing up in this space now, like I got some time in. Mm-hmm. I can, I can't say if I'm mad now or if I would be mad still because who knows if I would uh, break it down thing. to him. Tell him how it happened. What you mean? Why happened? Tell him how it happened. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So okay. So he say um he asked my man. Mind you, I didn't even know. He said, "Yo, can I hold the footage?" I mean, can I have the footage? They send him the footage, and I see the freestyle before I can even get the edit in it. The nigga, I don't think the nigga tagged me. The nigga cut me out at the beginning, and then, you know when you're doing the freestyle shit, like this how I get, like, you know, you do the introduction, you introduce the, the guest, they spit, and then you close the show. The nigga just posts the freestyle part. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what the f- I'm pissed. Like, I'm like, like, like I think you hear me say, like, this, that DT. Like, it was, it was like, you ain't really see me at all. I was hurt, bro. I'm pissed off. So I'm like, that shit go crazy. I mean, see, I wasn't, see, I wasn't on the tip like that. Like, take your face out and all that. Yeah, I, w- I was never on the tip. You just like wanted that. the freestyle. Yeah, like I feel like when people do the interviews before the freestyles, it take away from what we really want to see. You gotta remember, like, I'm an artist, but I'm a fan at the same time. So when I watch this, shit, I ain't, I'm not really trying to hear nobody talk before this freestyle. I want to hear a nigga go in. You feel right. me? So I'm like, all right, I got control of this. Shit. I'm going to give it to him raw how I would want to see it. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So that's what I did. I made sure as soon as that bitch came on, they're going to have to let me in after this when you heard me yeah. say you heard me. Like, let's get straight to it. You feel what I'm saying? And it was one of it was one of them things for real. That shit hurt. But I ain't think I did not think that was the one. Bro, that shit did like a million off rip. I ain't think that was the one. I ain't going to lie. Yo, what did that do for you? Because you, I feel like at that moment, you was already on that, like a freestyle run. I was on a freestyle run, but that shit changed my... That, shit, that was like the spark of my career. So like, wait, really. So is it fair to say J. Hill got a, a pivotal moment in YG Tech career? Facts. Damn. Facts. A major... Man, that freestyle, I started getting booked for shows off of freestyle. That's crazy. I was performing a freestyle at my shows. And then you made it a song. I had to. Yeah. They made it a song. Facts. For for a year straight, it was not, my Insta snap was you seen that. Yeah. Yeah. My Insta snap was full of more singing that a freestyle word for word. That shit probably was one of the biggest moments that we probably had. No facts. And this and, and the fact that facts. That's why I said you know looking back I couldn't be mad because even even though I wasn't in it the fact that I kept going people knew that I was doing it. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like just leaving from it but it was. The DTL already on freestyle. They ain't understand that I created that. Right. Like I literally, they ain't give me no help or nothing. Yeah. Like you saw, you came yeah. with your camera, man. No real shit. So like that shit, that was probably the only thing. I was like, man, I wish they would have known who shit it was. You kicked the crazy segment off. Nah, damn, I appreciate it. I, it feel good to even hear you. I, I didn't think you was gonna say that. Like man, you kicked the crazy segment but, off. But again, but like but, I tell anybody that, like that was like the start. Like my career was going on before that, but that was like the beginning of. Me making money off of music, mm. like after DTL, at the DTL all freestyle, it, it was never the same again. Yo, that's because I had a bomb. At, I was it was bomb at the bomb at the bomb after that. I never like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but that was the beginning. It's crazy because I called you because I was a fan. Like I seen mm. the um VVC shit. VVC. I thought nothing was harder than VVC. I mean, if you ask me, that shit was that shit was fire. I thought nothing was harder than VVC, but when DTL all dropped. It was everything though, because it was, it was a different the, motion. It, it was everything like far as the cadence. The cadence. The bounce. The beat when it stopped. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like it was everything. everything. It sounded like Baltimore. It was, it was, it was it was that shit is legendary. Yeah. That shit was legendary. Yo, you know what else I think is legendary um about you in a career? Mm-hmm. I feel like Baltimore is weird in a space where we and I might be wrong on that. If I feel like a lot of niggas in the city don't have beef with each other. But niggas aren't working with each other. Uh huh. And that's weird because like niggas got motion. Yeah. Niggas just got their own motion. Yeah. We see you drop Bus Fair mm-hmm. with Roddy Rex, Wabi Escola. Mm-hmm. 
And I feel like from from my era, just being in this media space, that was my first time ever seeing that happen like that. Mm -hmm. that is, is that a correct? No. No? Me, Moose, and Izzy. I mean, that was the first time it was done with a record that was like on that level. Mm. But we definitely worked together before. But I definitely think that motivated like, because other artists probably was looking at it just like you, like we never saw it happen before. So I feel like that's probably like motivated some people to get in together. Why you never dropped a verse on that? Honestly, uh, rest in peace to White Boy, uh, he had hit me and told me he wanted me to do a record for his tape. So uh, I came over, I did two records that day. And Bus Fed, I just did the hook and walked out. I didn't think nothing of it. Mm. That was like the last record I did. I did Bus Fed hook and I walked out. I didn't think nothing of it. So uh, I think Rax had hit me. He was doing this. He was doing his verse. So somebody hit me when Rax was doing his verse and was letting me head or put the camera on him. And shit. I'm like, damn, he's zapping. So I'm like, all right, cool, Rax on there. So then uh, somebody told me Scola was on there. I'm like, all right, I want to hit. Because I heard how Rax was coming. So I'm like, I need to hear how Scola going to come. I heard Scola verse. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I ain't going to lie. I think that's arguably one of Scola hardest verses. He high-stepped on that so motherfucker. You say, I was about to say, can man, I say what? something? Man. Bro, I can't even hear Scola doing that. Like, before that, I can't even hear him doing that. He f***ed that up. I think, I said this before, I think that's probably his, in my opinion, probably his hardest verse ever, bro. That shit was crazy. He high step. That shit was crazy. Yo, yeah. you yo, you think y'all could, would y'all do more music together? Like, cool. you, Scola, and Rex? Uh, yeah. That would be fire. Yeah, hell yeah. Give me like six songs. Yeah. We shit, man. Skull got unreleased shit. Man, Rex got unreleased shit. Me, Skull, and Rex got something unreleased. We got we got other records. I can see that. That that'll be fire. Yo, I want to jump around real quick. Uh, you about to uh, you you about to drop this gangster grill shit? Yes. You did the tape with uh Peasy. Yeah. You really in a different space now. Mm -hmm. Like you really amongst the the niggas that you. Doing what I want right now. Right. When you working with these artists mm -hmm. and these big, these like these A-listers or like the niggas that the streets love and we mm -hmm. come up on, are, is it confirmation as far as like, man, nah, I'm really, I can see I'm, I'm really one of them. Or is it? I know already. I know already, but I, I'm just letting them know. Mm. I know already. Yo, how was the, um, how was that, 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 uh, Gangsta Girls? Like how hard was it to get that? I went through some shit to get it done. I went through some shit to get it done, but was it a lot of money? No. Nah. No. Nah. He he. <laughs> let me guess. Drama. He try. He try. He try. To do some exchange. Like yo, I sign you. I do this. If you let me sign you, I do this for free. No. Nah, nah, <laughs> it wasn't no. It wasn't no shit. See, Drama, one of them niggas, like, and that's why you got love Drama. Like, it's not really about. Here's how you know it ain't no. It ain't no amount of money. Like, I ain't doing this shit. I ain't gonna say it ain't no amount of money, because I, you know what I'm saying? But he care about his brand. Like, he not just going to put his brand on. So he want to hear the music mm. first. So I had to sit down with him and play music and shit. And once he heard, like, I was one of them, man, you feel me? Then we just went from there. I feel like that's probably different from you, especially in the space where you really control whatever the fuck you want. Like, you, right. big dog. Having to work with another big dog where... He's used to doing what he want, mm -hmm. having his way. Right. How was that? You speaking in terms of a drama still? Yeah, y'all working together. Because like you said, yeah. you got a goat. Like, bro, I want to tell nobody my music. I'm lit. Like, yeah, yeah. About, you don't know? A uh, drama, a goat. Like, yeah, facts. Yeah, goat. So like, I came up listening to like, you know, like Wayne Gangster Grills and all, just, just the Jeezy Gangster Grills. So like. Easy, easy. The drama said he want to hear the music shit. I'm going to play the music. Okay. So some niggas you got to like play humble to. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting to see, but it's 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 more it's even more interesting. And I understand it because I'm one of them. I'm one of them people too. Like if I had the gangster grills stamp, and somebody say they want a gangster grills, I got to hear the music because I'm not just letting anybody get a. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Anybody can't get this stamp. Yep. You know, it, either you got potential to take this shit up another level, or I'ma just I'ma just leave it. It's like a it's like it's like movies. Some movies just don't need to be redone. Like no second parts to them, or you know what I'm saying? Some shit just don't need to be touched, or like a hard ass sample. Some people should like. No, nah, you're right. If somebody sampled my shit, 
and that shit just super trash. It's no amount of money I want, man. I just like leave my shit Bro, alone. You absolutely right. It's funny because like even with the, the the freestyle shit, everybody like when you gonna bring the freestyles back? It's like if it ain't right, I can't. You can't, yeah. Like, it, it just don't make sense. Like it gotta be right. Yeah. You can't, I can't just bring it back if it ain't right. So I get what you're saying, but I know that's you because I've talked to you and yeah. I dealt with you. And it's it's so to the point where I don't get mad. If you were to tell me no, like we had these conversations mm-hmm. for a long time, I don't get mad because I know how you are. Right. And I know when it happened, it's going to be the perfect time. Like you're right. probably one of the only people that I'll ask and like, we probably don't talk. I'll never get mad. I'll never be like, man, he on some bullshit. Right. Never. Because yeah. I already know. Yeah. I know how I go. But I that's why I was wondering, was that hard for you? Because you're usually the one in that in that seat yeah. to the call the shots. Right, right. But it was just easy because that drama, he the goat. Yeah. I get that. I ain't mad at that. How do you think of what you think about uh generation now? Could you do that? Could you even sign with anybody? Yeah, I could. My thing with independence, like I always wanted to take the independent route and then max out. That way I got leverage when I go into a situation. You feel what I'm saying? But if the term's right, I'm not against I'm not against signing. I'm not against people that sign. I'm against people that just, you know what I'm saying? It's, just sign for no reason and give away all their creative control, and then you just, you know, you just a slave to the game. You know what I'm saying? Do you think your knowledge and your wisdom being in the game, one, having the money, because you got you got businesses, like legit businesses, mm-hmm. having having time in the game and the money, the fact that you really don't need nobody, do you think that ever work against you at times? Uh, Yeah. Because, like, I, I think I scared some people away. Mm. Like a situation that I might would take or or it might make sense to me. A motherfucker won't even present it to me because I'm so, you feel me? I'm so self, self-made. self It's just mm. like, man, he ain't going to, you know what I'm saying? Or just like my aura, the way I carry shit, they just be like. But are you having every conversation? Because I, I ask that for, for example, like sometimes they say ignorance is bliss, mm. right? And sometimes niggas get their big break by taking a fucked up deal, right? Sometimes niggas get that yeah. big break by not knowing no better. Yeah. And it just ha- it helps. And, and, and you not, I don't give a fuck how much knowledge you got. You never going to have it 100% figured out. You're going to bump your head, you know what I'm saying? But I'd rather go into a situation as knowledgeable as possible. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So you don't think that's your... Well, yeah. So you think it hurt because they probably won't present it. But you don't think... You, you are willing to take any conversation... From from labels, yeah, I'm open to all conversations. Worst thing, worst thing that can happen is it, it ain't for me. I'm gonna say no. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm open to. I ain't shutting. I ain't shutting down nothing. Let me hear what you got to say. Talk to me. Yo, it, on the outside looking in, it is to, again, bro. I know, I know better, but it just it just looks like it's no need. Like like tech is good. He on his way. Mm-hmm. Just make keep making music. Yeah. For you, what is the what's the hold up? But as far as what? The next level. If you had to call it out, what you think the hold up What's is? What's the hold up? Why you ain't make it to where you want to be yet? I feel like this shit just God timing. This shit God speed. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't control I can't control it. All I, all I can do is just wake up and put my best foot forward. I We know that, right? Uh-huh. But there's times where you get frustrated. Yeah. And in those moments, I'm really asking that tech. In those moments when you frustrated, what are the things you frustrated about? What am I frustrated about? Basically, what you said, like why I didn't get the like why I didn't get my moment yet. Mm. That's probably the, that's that's probably what frustrate me the most. It ain't like financial shit, cause I I'm a hustler. I know how I know how I make money. You know what I'm saying. And at this point, most of the shit that I want to do, I can I can do. So it's not really you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But it's just a level that I want to go to. It's a this shit means something to me, and it's just a level that I want to a success that I want to attain. So, but again. We know that it's God's moment. We, we know it's God's time, right? Mm-hmm. But I guess my question is, you know how we always be talking to ourselves like, man, I got to do this. If it was something that- You know how motherfuckers say, I don't got a point to prove? I got some shit to prove. What you think you got to prove, though? Like, I just want I, I just want to show that. I want to let a motherfucker know, like, this shit different. But what, though, bro? It's, I'm curious. Like, what you think you got to prove? I just told you, I want to let a motherfucker know, like, I'm a different type. I'm a different breed of animal. But we know that. I read the world don't know that. I want the world to know that. How do we show that? If you had to answer your question, though, how do you show the world that? Just keep stepping. Just keep stepping. 
just like I just like how DTLR did what it did, and I ain't know it was coming. Mm. I'm gonna have another break like that, but on a bigger scale. Do you think because you've seen that before, it's easy to be at peace with it not happening right now? Yeah. I can see that. Cause I know it ain't even just that one thing that happened. It's a lot of things that happened, and it just was like, all right, it, it finally happened. Boom. I get, like a PZ tape. Yeah, like PZ it just drama. It just like certain motherfuckers catching on to my music or like I bump into an artist, like, all right, for instance, one day I'm uh tank fort out Vegas and shit. And I'm just I'm I'm at a at the party and shit. And it might don't mean nothing to some people, but you feel what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Just coming from where we come from, I'm at the at the party and shit. So I'm hollering at Polo G and shit. And I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm tech, bop, bop, bop. He stopped me in a mid conversation, like, nigga, like, nigga, I know who the fuck you, like, I know who you, you feel what I'm saying? So it'll be little shit like that. I'm like, damn, like, my, or like Raw Wade posting my shit. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, damn, like, my shit really. That's confirmation for real. Yeah. Cause you don't know how, you don't know how far your shit really spreading. But if you, like, so. I feel like that part is good, but it's mm. also the frustrating part. Like if Rod Wave posts my shit, mm. it's dope, but I'm like, nah, I need that feature. Like now, I'm, like my mind yeah. is just giving going to the max. So like I need that feature. Now I'm getting, I get anxiety. I be more so like I don't. They hear me, mm. and I'm looking at, I'm looking at my streams go up, go up, and go up. So a motherfucker can sneak listen to you. I'm not speaking, I'm not speaking on Rod Wave yeah, yeah, or yeah, none yeah, of them yeah. people. I'm just saying like, just like people. Period. You know what I'm saying? Some people won't acknowledge that they hear you. But them streams still count. Mm. So I know that I'm doing my job because I'm watching my shit go up and go up. You feel me? My shit not going, my shit not declining. My shit is keep I'm saying it's an incline. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, you got, I feel like you got a few businesses. You got a trucking business, you got mm -hmm. a clothing store. Right. Um, they the ones I just know about. I'm curious to know like what the music, because I've heard some artists say like the music is probably the least where I make the least amount of my money. Mm-hmm. But you, you just said like I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. You don't think so? Hell no. So even like you think music I make, I make, I make, I make a lot of money off of other things too. But music is a is a lucrative business. Just the streams. Streams, yes. I wouldn't. Think but so. everybody don't. I wouldn't say every everybody don't own a hundred percent of their music. Okay, talk your shit. Okay, I own a hundred percent of it. my music. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know what I'm so saying? So you think the music make more than So if I want to distribute through somebody, I probably they I can probably I can get a nice big check cut for one tape. If I wanna if I wanna go through somebody, or if I wanna just load my shit up on distro kid. You know what I'm saying? Them streams coming back. They that shit coming back nice. Mm. So what's the importance? Like how would And then that's not that don't got nothing to do with show money, you know what I'm saying, and feature money and shit like that. So music pay good. I asked that because again, and I think you went to real estate too, right? Correct. You got real estate, trucking business, the store. All these things are like side businesses that mm. help the income grow for sure. Right. I would think that shit is more than the music. In my that's what it I can think. be. It can be. I just I know how I hustle this music shit. It can be, but what made you get into the uh like uh, like this entrepreneurship? Like just outside of the music, like the uh the, the being, real being, estate the being fucked up. And having more time to think. So like when I ain't had nothing, I, I always like, I made a list of all the shit I was going to do when I finally get some money. Like when I finally get some, boy, you, cause you got more time to think when you ain't got shit. All you, all you doing is scheming. You thinking like, man, yeah. shit, man, shit. If I'd have had that money right there, boy, I'm going to buy me some, I'm going to get me a house. I get that money right there. I'd have got, to, got some land or something. Like he playing around. Like you feel me? So now you talk all that shit. When you finally get in position, it's like, it's, it's like a test to yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, but I also feel like it's easy to get the money mm -hmm. and blow it, especially if you never had it. Yeah, factual. But you did. It, it seems like again, it seems like I you had did my, the right thing. Not from the start, but I did. Man, I did invest from. I did invest from the beginning. But I, 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 I ran through some money too. That come with the game. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I ain't really too quick to fuck up no money. What, what was your, what was the biggest bag you think you fucked up? I don't have like no set amount at like one time that I just fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But just, you know, want just 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 fucking off, plant like club clubbing, doing all the, you know what I'm saying? But that shit come that shit come with it when you when you new money. I'm curious, even outside of the new money though, I feel like a lot of people we talk about with this networking shit, especially as a mm -hmm. rapper, they feel like they gotta get the rapper kit. You gotta get the chains. Mm -hmm. You gotta you gotta go to the club appearances and shit like that. Yeah. With the success that you've seen. 
would you confirm or deny that? Is that true? You need that? You don't need it, but it helped. It definitely helped because I was one of them artists that was like, fuck that shit. For a long time, when I had the money to get it, I was like, fuck that shit. And uh, I was watching other artists who was like, you know, in the city who had that shit, but I was having more motion than them. And I knew it and y'all knew it. Everybody knew it. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like once I did buy jewelry, it took me to another level. And that was in a public eye too. That's when Don't Get It Twisted drop. I'm buying diamonds, but I'm about it. Please don't get it. That was the that was the tech entering the jewelry stage. Mm. And that shit went crazy and it took me to another level because now it's like, all right, I hear I hear what he's talking, I hear what he's saying, and I, I hear he getting money. I can see certain things, but it's like jewelry and shit make make motherfuckers like you know like, like a part, you look like the part. Right, right. And not even just that, you gain fans and shit from jewelry and shit too. I wouldn't like I wouldn't convince nobody to like keep spending money on it. Like once you get your little Get your rap, but kid, don't don't keep going crazy on it. But like, like when I'm in the airport and shit like that, people will be like, like, what do you do? You rap or you 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 play you play football? Like, who are you? It make people want to know who you are. Mm. So, what was the um? I guess the the coming to life moment or the wake up call to say, all right, I need to get this jewelry because, like you said, you was already getting bread. What was the moment where you was like, all right, I, I got to do this? I just felt like it was time, and people was people was trying to convince me to do it for a minute, but I was against it. I didn't feel like I needed it. I was like, shit, I'm already getting booked. I already, but I don't know. I just got to a point where I was like, I'm going to just try it. Could you tell when a nigga shit fake? Yeah. Because I'm curious. Because we see yeah. rappers talk about how they got they they had, they had came up with fake jewelry. I, I can't. I got, I got an eye for it. I got an eye you for it. You think most people can? If they got it, they buying this shit like that. I feel like they got, they got some diamonds that, that look real now. I don't know the name of this shit, but they got some shit. Man. I don't know. That shit might can get past me then. <laughs> that shit might can get past me then. No, nah, I asked that. But no, I can see when a nigga got a big dumb ass Cuban on that just look crazy. Cause you know? niggas be talking like niggas be. We see these rappers get on on these internet and they be like, yeah, man, I I, I came up wearing fake shit and so I could afford it. Yeah. Would you suggest that? Not no, I just like, ain't. A, I ain't gonna lie. I just saw some shit. I forgot. I forget who it was. It's one of them NBA players and shit. He like, yeah, all my shit fake for real. He like, I don't. Mm hmm. What was it? Who was it? Was it Anthony Edwards or AE, right? He got an AE chain. Because yeah. he actually said, Is that AE chain? I think it was Anthony Edwards. Yeah. Yeah, I saw, I saw that shit. I, so curious. But it's like, what you gonna say to a nigga like him? That's what I was saying. Like, if you got it, bro, I wonder, like, does it even, like, if you got it, like, bro, I don't give a fuck. But me, like, this shit mean, this shit, this shit mean something to me. Like, this, this everything I work for, this what I built, you feel me, brick by brick. So I wouldn't do it. You get what I'm saying? But to each his own. Bro, you probably don't know how I, I, I know this. Ronald is my, like, my, um, my, like, one of my mentors for real, right? Uh huh. And he told me the story. Guy. When he first like kind of met you and y'all was about to work, mm -hmm. he said, "I guess he had asked you a question like, bro, are you in the streets?" Mm -hmm. And you was like, "Nah, mm -hmm. not." Uh -huh. But like everything about you says nigga in the streets. Cause who the fuck is you, the police? <laughs> 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 no real shit though. Like what? Yeah. So, but you. But he said like nah, and he started working with you, and he seen that you was you was real though. Mm -hmm. He was talking like you was telling the truth. Mm -hmm. But so many rappers are still got one foot in and one foot out because they trying to get the money to do this shit. Yeah, you are somebody that's completely legit now. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Right. I was I was just curious, just from a, a nigga that that motivation to the young rappers. Like, mm -hmm. how important was that for you to get out, to get all the way out the streets and have and, and be focused strictly on his music shit. You're going to wash yourself up trying to dibble and dabble. You're trying to, you know what I'm saying, one foot in, one foot out. I understand them, though, like, at a, at the beginning level, because it's like the way this shit set up, I don't even really want to say it, because it's just like, I don't want to motivate nobody to do the wrong thing. But it's like the way this shit kind of set up is like, sometimes we got to do wrong to get right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But the first chance you get, fuck that shit. Leave that shit where it's at, because you, you ain't going to do nothing, but you're going to wash yourself up trying to, let me ask you this then, because I like what you just said. Like, I don't want to motivate niggas to do wrong, but if it's a nigga, because we only could talk to who we could talk to, if it's a nigga that's trying to do right, mm -hmm. but he feel like he don't have no choice, he still got to be in the streets to get the money or whatever. Everybody always had his exit plan, but they they 
it's like they take their time. Like, how you going to find your music? How the fuck? How you going to find your music career working at McDonald's? It's hard as fuck. Mm. But I guess it can. You, I guess you can do it. That's not. I don't. I don't really understand it from that lane because I. Not, that's not my. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. How do you get that? How do you get to a level where you can stop though? Like how? What, if you had to give niggas advice to, to to stop, how do you get there? Just believe in yourself. Just believe in yourself. Like I feel like. No, give me some real. No, I'm giving you no. This real shit. Like. You ain't gonna never feel like you got enough money to be like fuck that shit. You ain't gonna never feel like it's enough. But if you believe in yourself and and, and look at the people around you and just see like, see this is what I did. I look at all the people around me and I and I notice how many people depend on me. So now I'm like I'm in a selfish stage if I fuck up or do something wrong. It ain't even just for me now because if I fuck up, I know I take care. Of my mother, I take care of this person. I take care of that person. You feel what I'm saying? So now I'm in a I'm in a selfish stage where though I throw this shit away over some bullshit and being greedy. You get what I'm saying? Mm. So just look at all the people who. Nah, I see that, but I'm just still trying to play devil's advocate because some niggas feel like I mean that's really paying the bills. I can't quit. Like this music shit ain't bringing enough money for me to pay my bills. You gotta bite down. You gotta go at this shit. You gotta go at this shit. That's what I did. I went at this shit, like, and it just, like, I, but at the end of the day, like, like I said, it's God timing. It just worked out for me. Like, that shit, it happened for me. Mm. Whereas I started getting booked for shows, I started making money off streams, but it don't happen for everybody. Mm. It don't happen for everybody, and that's just the sad truth. Knowing that, though, right? And knowing you came from that, do that. Like, it's a billion people trying to do the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. Everybody can't get it, majority can't get it. Like how many people can really be successful rappers? Not even just like I'm talking about just make enough money off of rap to feed their family. Most it don't it don't happen for most people. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And some people was good, like really good at what they did. Do you ever look back and like it's what they say, like survivor's guilt almost? Like, do you knowing that and knowing you came from that, do you ever look back and feel bad for the niggas that, that was really talented but couldn't couldn't get it? Now that you say that, especially the people we know or people come from, I definitely look. I definitely look back at some people like, damn, I wish he could have caught his break like fire. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the thing with this shit, you can't make nobody catch their break. You can do a feature with them. You can do anything. That shit don't matter. Mm. That shit be, it's a higher power. Mm. That shit ain't. It don't got nothing to do with us. Yeah. I know you know some artists in the city where you like, man, this he crazy. Like, Hell yeah. It's a lot of them. Shout out to my guy Mike Even. I'm a, every time I get a chance, I, I I use this platform to to, to to highlight them niggas. What's his name? Mike Even. He one of the night, he nice as shit, bro. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of them though. It's yeah. A lot of them. But it's what happened is it's funny because what you what you what you think the problem is? I'm gonna tell you. I think it's more than just not everybody a J. Cole. Mm-hmm. And I feel like it's harder to be a J. Cole than just to be a rapper in general. And what I mean by that. It's like, look at, let's say Sexy Red. Mm-hmm. Me, per, I don't think she's the most talented, but she got the package. Like, she know what to say. She know her demographics. She know how to say it to get, to get their attention. Mm-hmm. She marketed herself to them. So you don't think it's another Sexy Red out there with the package too that just, it's some Michael Jordans that just ain't go to the league. Because I just, it's more than just working. It's more than just, it's more than just being talented. It's mm. more than just looking good. Like mm. you gotta put that shit together, and they say success is. So you think everybody who put that shit together gonna get their brick? That shit be who you know. Yeah. Who you bump heads with? Like it should just be. It's a lot. That it's just a lot. I am a fair believer in. If you don't stop, so for example, mm. I'm not the most popular nigga, mm-hmm. but niggas to tell you, I'm probably one of the most persistent niggas ever. Yeah. Like, I'm not stopping. Like, unless you say no, fuck you, bro, stop fucking texting me, I'm not stopping. I still don't think you stop. <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Like, I'm not stopping. This nigga Jay Hill be on some shit. Like, so it's like, if you can keep the endurance, mm-hmm. you bound to make it. And like I, like I was saying, I'm not the most popular, so okay, cool. I know I ain't about to put out one video or do a million every time. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm going to put out a hundred motherfucking videos and we're going to get the million. I'm going to mm-hmm. get there. 
it's a mindset thing. I really think yeah. it's a mindset thing. It's like, yeah, I don't have that, but some niggas be complaining like, I don't got it. They bitch and they crying like, uh, no, nah, okay, cool. I ain't gonna get a million off one view. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one interview. I'm gonna drop it. I'm gonna piece this motherfucker twenty five times. Yeah, and we gonna get the numbers. So finding your niche, basically. Find that motherfucker. Yeah, I feel like niggas is timid. So what's success to Jay Hill? Like I said, bro, I think success to me is like, and I mean this, bro, like. They're putting the niggas on that's helping me, bro. Like, mm -hmm. this shit is hard. You see, like, niggas, I'm not here by myself. But it was mm -hmm. a time where I was here by myself. Right. The niggas back home that helped me. I want to be able to, like, take a nigga out there, a job they work for me, and, like, we doing this shit together. Right. You feel me? If I can feed my family, and we can, and I can do what I love. While feeding success. your family. While yeah. feeding my family, that's success, bro. I concur. I 100% agree. I think that's success. But success changed at different times, I guess. Right. In what sense? I'm asking you. That's my definition of success, though. Like being able to do exactly what I want, feed the people around me. You know what I'm saying? Because I told you, like, it's people out here who got hundreds of millions, millions of dollars, and they miserable because mm. they really not even doing what they want to do. They just doing something that work for them. Because sometimes you can do some shit and they work for you, but that's not really your passion. Facts. You ever see like successful singers? But they want rap. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> yeah, all the time. But it's like, bro, this your gift. Yeah. But they want to be rappers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or producers want to be, you know what I'm saying? So just because you make money off of something, that don't mean that's what you like to do. And I feel like finding something that you like to do and feeding your family off of it, that's, you know, that's success. You can do that, though. Yeah. You still, is a, there's still another level for you, though. Yeah. I feel like I'm successful at, right now, but I'm not happy. Like, this not... I want that other level. Like this not my this not my end goal. Do you honestly think that whatever level that is, I don't know, let's say Ride Waves, mm -hmm. um, the NBA young boy, he got one of the biggest fan base. Mm -hmm. YG Tech is the next NBA young boy far as I don't know, fan bases and independent, do what he wanna do. You think you still gonna feel good I, and not wanna get to another level? No. I'm insatiable. Like I'm never gonna be satisfied. I'm gonna always want more. So I it never been a time that I got something. Like if I get a I buy a car, I'm gonna like that shit for one week. I want another one. I get a watch, I like this shit probably the next couple of days, I'm already looking. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm just never really satisfied. Do me a favor. Honestly. Though, since you just said that, mm -hmm. next time you get a watch mm -hmm. and like a couple of days you want another one, mm -hmm. just send me the old one. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do me that. But nah, but all jokes aside, I feel like with that being said, can you ever be happy though? Like, how do we be? Gra how do no? You can be. You can be happy and still want more. You can be happy and still want more. What does that look like? It looked like this because I'm not like. I'm not happy, but I'm not like. I feel like. I, shit, shit was worse. You know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm doing good. I'm feeding my family. I do what I, I wake up and do what I want every day, but I just still want that, like that next level. You get what I'm saying? But can I ask you, what is it about the next Like, level? do you feel like, do you, do you feel like, are you happy at the level you at right now? Are you happy, period? I think I am satisfied right now. You, you satisfied? I think so. So this cool for you? It's not cool, but so yeah, I would say I'm happy. I would say I'm happy. And why would you say you happy? Because things aren't going right right now. Uh huh. Right? Like I said, I, like I just stopped bringing a big bag yeah. to do this 100%. And this ain't bringing in what the job was bringing in, just being real. Uh -huh. But because it's something that's about right now where I know it's, like, I know it's coming, I can't explain it. Like but I can't you know. explain it. Yeah, I feel like and, that too. Yeah, so it's like, yeah, everything ain't what it was two, three months ago, yeah. right? But something in me is saying like, I'm, "We good. I ain't yeah. tripping." Like I and I never felt like that ever in my life. Yeah, I feel like I'm three quarters of happy. Like I'm healthy. I make the money. I make money. I'm feeding my family. But that other quarter is just like, I want that next level. What about it? What about it that you want so bad? It's 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 for me. It's it's me. It's it's me reaching my full potential. And that's I want to reach my full potential. That's next level of rap. 
it ain't even it don't even just got to be it ain't just rap it's a lot of things that I feel like I can like even in my other businesses like I feel like I can be a higher level at a lot of shit that I'm doing you know what I'm saying but this is it's for me like I want to reach a higher level like didn't it's nothing that I'm doing where I'm like this a cool level for me mm -hmm. I'm gonna stay here I, I like just where I'm at right now you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Now, I feel that I try to understand 100%. I'm asking, though, because I'm even... Now I'm asking, I'm asking myself, because it's like... You even said, when you go in these... It's confirmation. You go in these rooms to do these features. It's like, I belong here. I yeah. already knew it. Yeah. Now I'm showing you. Right. So if you get to the next level, in my mind, I'm thinking, you already knew it. And now I'm going to start looking at the motherfuckers on that next level. Like, all right, I did this. Now I'm on yes. Like I, I'm never going. I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to stop. It's never a, a place of contentment for you ever. No. How can you be happy living like that? I'm healthy. I'm feeding my family. That's contentment, though. That's. But, but I told you, I'm. I call it three quarter happy. I still want that next level. So if you get to the next level, right? You still, mm -hmm. you still gonna be three quarter happy, like. At right at this point, you lying. You ain't three, three quarter happy. Because when you get to the next level, you still go on the next level. You're right. And then we, you just say I'm never stopping. We could like so that's that shit a driving nigga crazy. But I probably still I think I probably feel better when I reach that next level. And then and I'm still gonna want more, but I just feel like I'm gonna feel better when I reach that next. Just looking back, like damn, I did this. I checked that level off. I checked that level. Cause I feel happier now knowing like it's smaller levels that I checked off already. Mm -hmm. So I'm like. I check this off. I check that off. But I still want to check off this and check off that. You know what I'm saying? What's something else you want to check off? Because I'm curious. I want 100 million. That's pretty nice. But what's the dip? Let me ask you this, though. What's the difference from lifestyle, what you can do for your family, from 100 million to 50 million? Honestly. I don't know because I ain't gotten even one. I can't, I'd be lying if I told you some shit like that. No, I, I asked that because like we always talk about this success shit, and it's like, and, and I got a wife, right? And but you can't, you can't really just base success off of finances. But either. a lot of people do. That's what I'm saying. And even like, because there's some people that's pro, there's some people that ain't got no. There's some broke successful people like basically to they self, basically right. like you know they, that like they they are content and they are a hundred percent happy. They not three quarter happy. They are a hundred percent happy. And I want to say, no, I, I ain't going to say broke happy. I'm going to say just like fair that they, you know what I'm saying? Like they middle class, but they can feed their family. They can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they happy. I, I and some people will take that over. Yeah. Nah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. And that's why I ask because like, it's been times where like. So if that's you, you successful because. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause like, like me and my wife, like we'll are, like talk and it's been times where I'm like I'm doing this for you so we can we can be happy I'm like really am I doing it for her because it's a time where you can make a certain amount of money and your girl gonna be good she's like I'm good you're doing it for yourself at this point yeah and then when you you gonna get to that level and it's like I'm doing this for legacy your legacy is already submitted no no I no I don't agree with that because like that's how I feel too I want generations to be set like I want I want motherfuckers to know like and you can't have a generation set with 50 million no they need to know that I can't even put it down. Like, okay, cool. So what happens when you came and put it down? It's athletes that run through 50 millions and 100 millions, 80% of them get crazy contracts and after they retire because they're not hustlers, they don't know how to make money. You got to remember, like most of them, they make money off of a talent. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But they never had to, they never had to hustle and build it up step by step. And that goes back what to I'm what saying. we were talking about first. That's what I'm saying. Uh -huh. You make 100 million. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. You give it to, we ain't gonna say your son. Did you find a, did you find your way making this you hundred found, million you or it just came? Way. You found your way. That's my point. Okay. That's exactly what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You make a hundred million mm -hmm. and we're gonna just say your daughter because you don't have a daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Let's say you give it to your daughter. Uh-huh. Guess what? What? She just got it. So is it fair? Do you honestly think she's gonna be able to take care of that money like you take took care of it? Because you earned mm -hmm. that money. You yeah. just gave it to her. And that's why you you gotta show them like. Like I had my son in my store with me, you feel me? If I'm ever, or if I'm not there, I still have him in the store, like learning the ropes. You get what I'm saying? Like you gotta learn how to, you know what I'm saying? You gotta learn how to do this shit yourself because it might be a time that I'm not here. 
But all the things that I learned, I want to show you, you know what I'm saying? And I don't want you to just, I don't want to just hand you money. I want to show you how to make money. Mm. I want to show you how to keep producing. You get what I'm saying? How to, you know, so it's all, it's all on how you raise the people behind you too. Do Are you, you showing them the ropes or are you just giving them the money and just. So you, we can say this because you do have a son. Do you think that your son honestly can understand that? Not now, but I'm trying to like. I'm trying to stall it in him where though subconsciously he just like he start moving off of, you know what I'm saying? He just start moving off of what he was taught and not even noticing he moving off of what he was taught. It just installed in him. Mm. Cause I, I was just I only ask I, I only do that back and forth because I'm curious to know, like, do you really think that you can maintain this lifestyle or the money that that you're making? I want somebody behind me to take this shit to another level. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want to take it to the highest level I can take it to, but I want somebody behind me to be able to take what I did and up and up the school. And that's what you think legacy is? Yeah. Because it happens. It's people that do it all the time. Sometimes it feel like this shit is impossible <laughs> as a black man. Because, like, name, name somebody who done that that looked like us. Mm. Cause when I think about, I'll, I think of the Hilton, I think of uh, Rockefeller, I think of like when I'm thinking of like the legacy that I want, I'm thinking of them motherfuckers, and I'm just wondering, do you think these crackers ever going to let us like, man, eh. like real generational wealth? That's real generational wealth. It happens though. Like, all right, let's say like Mayweather, his father was a boxer. He wasn't as big as Mayweather. But Mayweather took this shit to a whole nother level. So you think Mayweather kids, all his kids, well, not all his kids. I see his daughter, like the grandkid, the young the boy son. Kid, yeah, yeah. Yo, look like he about to be the one. He's like he gonna be the one. Not nah, fact. It don't always be the kid. It might be somebody that come along <laughs> and he just look like he just he like he gonna be the one. Okay, because I'm not even thinking boxing. I'm just thinking like, look how when Mayweather took it. I'm thinking like, yo, your children should be able to surpass you, like you said. But sometimes that when you when you do that. Your children be like, man, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. But it's gonna be one. It's like it's it's gonna be one of them that's just like, man, shit. Hopefully, hopefully. Nah, I feel like the legacy talk is just is 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 tricky because you never know though. You the, can't make it happen. Nah, you're right, and that's why I'm saying it's so tricky because we say legacy, but what is that? Because think about it. One of the the people that have the big, the biggest legacy in our culture, talking about African Americans, mm -hmm. Martin Luther King is a Martin Luther King Boulevard on in every city, city. of every state. In this country, mm. everywhere, right? But guess what? How many times do you think of Martin Luther King during a week, a day, a month, a year? Maybe once because of his the Martin Luther King Day. Yeah. If that's the highest form of legacy that I can think of, I'm not walking around here like, man, Martin Luther King really had a dream and I got to live a life that because Martin Luther King had a dream and I need to uh, fulfill his legacy. See, I ain't really in all that. But, but I'm, I'm talking about legacy. I'm yeah. forget that yeah. I'm just saying I'm talking about legacy. So if that's the highest form of legacy that I could think of that I've seen, mm -hmm. and niggas ain't thinking about him every day, I'm just being real. Not not trying to be a pessimist, but I'm being real. Like, so I'm doing this for legacy for somebody to fuck up my legacy. Man, I might as well do this shit for myself. So you're just gonna do it for yourself and when it's over, it's over. I'm not. You're a selfish but... motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, but I'm just putting out thoughts. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna do that. I'm still gonna work. But I'm yeah. like, sometimes I think like, is this shit. Is it is this really legacy? I just feel like it is. If they fuck it up, they fuck it up. I'm gonna do my part. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm gonna do everything I can do to pass the torch, and hopefully somebody, you know what I'm saying, give a fuck about me enough to want to keep this shit going. Mm -hmm. You know. Nah, fact. Like speaking of legacy, I think I think you definitely like what you've done, and I, I hate to keep saying it, but it just is what it is, especially for the city, bro. I feel mm -hmm. like. We talking about legendary shit though. And you know it. Yeah. Do you feel like people hold you at a, 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 a like a unfair standard where like niggas are starting to ask you for shit now? Like, yo, can you put me on? Yo, can you do this? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like does that frustrate you? No. It don't really frustrate me. I'm just like, I'm learning how to deal with it. Learning how to say no. I wouldn't say learn. Just, I'm just learning how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't always say no. It's sometimes it just be I, I. I'm gonna get to that when I get to that. You know what I'm saying? It's not always a no. 
Mm. I'm curious to... We've seen niggas have success from our city. Mm -hmm. Young Moose. Mm -hmm. Wabi Escola. Mm -hmm. Shit, Tim Trees. Uh, like, we've seen niggas have success. But it seemed like nobody could ever get through the... Like, past that hump for some reason. Yeah. What do you think it take? Persistence. Keep going at it. Somebody gonna crack it open. Mm. Somebody gonna crack it open. I think I'm gonna do it. But if I don't do it, I long as somebody do it, I'm cool with that. Mm. But it needs to happen. It gotta happen. It gotta happen. We need somebody here who like, you know how like most cities got that thing where like they got that one person where if somebody heat up to a certain level, they can just grab them. They grabbing anything that heat up. Mm -hmm. L City need that. We need that one person that's here that's in the game that one that new young artist heat up like Memphis got Gotti anything that heat up in Memphis he on top of it you know what I'm saying Atlanta got a lot of people you heat up in Atlanta you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like if I would have heated up in Atlanta I'd have been gone mm -hmm. just it's just it's just the facts you get what I'm saying so I feel like L City need that one person that as soon as you heat up you get your opportunity we had that kind of I don't feel like we had it who bro it was a point where Scola was hot. Fuck heating up. He was hot and meek snatched. Yeah, no, he was hot, but it's still like a, it's a level. Go ahead, finish what you were saying. No, that's it. Meek snatched him, mm -hmm. and I be just wondering like, how it's still another level we got to get over. Like Skull would agree with me saying that. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's a level. It's he ain't really get to the level that probably even he wanted to get to with this shit. You feel what I'm saying? You got it's a certain level that you get to where as though you can reach back. He wasn't at the level to reach, reach back. back. You got to get to a certain level where it's like, all right, now I'm here. I can start working on my label now. Or I can start, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you heating up, like, because the niggas I know, he, Roddy, like, it's so many niggas that's really like that. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, how do they punch through that next level? I'm just curious. I don't know. Like, I know you probably curious your damn self. I'm just trying to figure out because we've had niggas that heated up. Mm -hmm. We've had niggas, like, a few of them that's buzzing, like, Jake, like I mean, it's. I think once you get that, I think once you get that, once you get that heater that gets you in there, you need another one. That's it. To let just let them know you mean business. What is that? Like I feel like you just need another one to, and and, and it's the same thing. It's it's the same thing when you get in the game. Like se like when Sexy Red dropped whatever her first one was, she needed another one. Yeah. And then she had another one. Like, just to let them know, like, I'm here. Yeah, that's a fact. That's true. And I feel yeah. like that's what we need. Do you think that come with the budget, though? No. Yeah. It, it. I don't think money can buy it. I don't think money can buy it. Because I didn't seen, we all didn't saw, we didn't seen multi-millionaires try to get in the rap business, and it don't work for them. Spending crazy money. Money can't buy you the fans. Bro, I said this to my dog. I don't have to say his name. He's from Baltimore. I said mm -hmm. it to him. I'm interviewing him, but he came in the game with a bunch of money. Mm -hmm. It don't it matter. Wasn't it we don't felt, matter. People felt it. they could feel when it's genuine. Like they yeah. could feel. You get what I'm saying? Like, the money so yeah, you it. can pay for it and shit like that. Mm -hmm. But it's like you can feel when it's yeah. when it's genuine. It's all about building a like a like a fan base, a core cool yeah. following. Like money can't do it. But they gonna be a fan, they're gonna be fans of your money. Mm. But like I never wanted a fan base built off money. You feel me? Like I feel like my fans love me for who I am. Like I could lose this shit. I feel like I can lose this shit and start back over. They're gonna start back over with me because I built my fan base from when you got a, fan, a lot of people fan base built off money. So as soon as they money fucked up or they lose they watch and they lose they it's like we don't fuck with you no more. You not you, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. What you think the song that did what was one of your songs that did it and you was like, I need another one? See, I got a lot of core, I got a lot of core following records. So like I feel like my fan base, let me see. Like ooh, right? Yeah, ooh, ooh was ooh was one. Um I feel like you got a few of them. But even but still, ooh isn't a that's not a but I got a, a national hit though. Yeah. Right? So like That's what I'm saying. Like my fan base, like I got a lot, you know how some people got one or two songs? Mm -hmm. I got catalog. Mm. I survive off catalog. Like I got a I got a lot of good records. You get what I'm saying? More so than one or two hits. I got a lot of good records. You know what I'm saying? So it's different type of artists too. 
You know what I'm saying? But I like the, I'm pushing for like the all around because I, I can do all of it. You know what I'm saying? But once I get that one hit, like national hit, that's when they're going to catch up with catalog. Do you think that's probably why though? Because like you said, you are versed. Like you mm -hmm. are well versed. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we see niggas coming up, it is that one sound almost to the fact that you get tired of it. Like mm -hmm. let's say the baby, when he came in, mm -hmm. he got hot. It was that one sound. Right. Sexy Red, she came in. It's like that one, one sound. sound. Yeah. You don't really have one sound. Right. Do you think that's a part of the blockage or no? No, I wouldn't say it's part of the blockage. But... When you got when you when you when you got a lot of different sounds, say one sound catch, you gotta probably try to catch, oh. find something in that same like one ooh court. I probably should have had another ooh type of record. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or if another type of sound catch, like all right, different motion going crazy, but that's way different than or like bomb going crazy, but that's way different. Like I got yeah. a lot of I got I got a good record in every different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I might should have. A follow-up record in the same. Is that something you think you're gonna try to do next time? Maybe so. I just I didn't think about that until this conversation just now. Mm. Cause it's it's crazy when people ask me like, "Yo, why Baltimore and pop?" The first thing I say, the first thing I come to my mind is, I don't think we have one particular sound because we don't. niggas are everybody like, niggas sound different. Yeah, don't they? It, it, it's different, but niggas is good, but it's not one sound. You you can never you can't go to Baltimore and be like. Oh, that sound like Baltimore. Yeah, like it's, we don't got no, we don't have one. No, that's facts. That's facts. And I think that's probably that's like, the only thing I can I think. I feel like of. Memphis sound like Memphis. Memphis sound Detroit like Memphis. sound like Detroit. Exactly. Yes. But Baltimore, we don't sound like nobody else. Yeah. But we don't got a sound where it's though you gonna know a Baltimore artist when we start saying two and D. Yeah. Like, like that's our sound right there. Facts. Like, um, what the fuck the nigga name? Uh, oh uh, shit. Fuck. I'm, you want me? Make me look crazy on this interview. The nigga, uh, what's the name of Don? Um, TMC. TMC the Don. Uh huh. Fire. TMC the Don sound different than Tech. Tech sound different than Jake. Jake sound different than uh, Roddy. Roddy sound mm. different than Score. Like literally. But everybody fire. Everybody fire. But it's like if we can get that one sound and everybody do that'll it. That'll never happen though. I don't think that'll ever happen. I think that I'm the... never going. I'm never going to start sounding like. Yeah. I know. You know what I'm saying? I know. I get what you're saying. But I know that's what I, that's it. That when I, you can ask my, uh, I don't shit. think that's the blockage. I think that's I not think the that's blockage. All the, time. the block is just somebody kicking it in, because honestly, like a lot of cities, they want to talk like us. They want to like they want to move like like they when we when I'm in other cities, and I bump into people, they automatically click yeah. to what we got going on. Facts. We are we are untapped market. Facts. And I know that I'm not blind to it. You know what I'm saying? I know what we bring into the game, but some people will take from what we got and use it in their own way instead of we are untapped market. So how you open a and door? If you if you go crazy right now, you pop and the next you know is a monkey. That's all it's gonna take. But it's a monkey see monkey do business, right? Uh -huh. You go out the door, you pop. Uh -huh. That's what the industry is looking for. They all looking for another tech. They not looking for Baltimore. They looking for another tech. But tech is from Baltimore. I don't I don't really think that. They just looking for they looking for Baltimore now. They looking for Baltimore now. I don't know. We right there. I see the shit like, all right, I'll be at, a, say I'm at a tank fight or something. Say he knocked the nigga out or something. And I say I'm from Baltimore. And this nigga from Baltimore, like, <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. It's a whole different, just because of, they know he from Baltimore. That's all it really be. It's just like. Yo, did Tank bring you out? I mean, you, you brought Tank out before? Uh, I ain't never bring Tank out. Oh, that's lit. I ain't never bring him out. That's, that's actually, do that's you, my God. Do you feel good about that? Yeah. Me too. I wonder if you're thinking what I'm thinking. Why are you feeling good about it? We we'll see. I think we're thinking the same thing. I because I thought you did, and I was gonna say, do mm -hmm. you feel like that was like too early? Yeah. That's what I was. I was gonna say that because like yeah. now it's like because you know y'all fuck with each other. Mm -hmm. It only get bigger. For sure. So it's like it, so it's like when you do bring them out because you it's bound to happen. Yeah. It's only gonna make it better. Yeah. That's you talked to wait, you must have talked to him recently or something. No, ain't nothing ain't nothing like that. Ain't I don't know I don't know nothing that's like about that. Ain't he going his big fight. No, that's my guy though. Like I, I don't I actually just talked to him last week. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't it ain't had nothing to do with that. I'm curious, did you ever because you did come from the trench, like you came from the bottom, mm -hmm. you worked your way up. Did you see a change? And how niggas started treating you 
when you started getting lit, when you started bubbling. Yeah. Yeah. But I understand it because they never seen no shit like this before. Like nobody never did what I did where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? So people gonna have their hand out. People gonna, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how more favors. Like and it's more, it be family. I go through that shit daily. I'm talking more so like industry shit. Oh, like industry shit. Uh like, say it, it'd be some shit like... Like you trying to get a feature with a nigga, right? Oh, I about to say, I thought you were talking about, like, if I got a show or something, some motherfuckers won't call, but if I got a show with another person, yeah. my shit would be clicking. Mm -hmm. What you about to say? No, nah, same shit. It's all the same shit, because yeah. it's funny, because I remember at a time where, like, I went to school with T-West, mm -hmm. right? And, like, it was just T-West, like, mm -hmm. that was my dog. And I'll never forget when he went to the league, I seen, like, all the, like... Rappers and like everybody like T West, T West, T -West. and I'm mm -hmm. like, niggas just started showing love. Like niggas be on dicks. Yeah, they wait, they wait until. And I, I don't know how I feel about that because like, that's how, even when I rapper, was... rappers do it too. I, that's what that's what rappers I'm do it too. Like it, it's some rappers who know who I'm is right now, and probably don't. You know they holler at you here and there. I don't know how. I feel but if I that. if I catch a rock of them all, niggas on dick. You know how this shit go. But bro, it was niggas that was trying to get interviews. And I'm specifically talking about Nigga, they gonna, I love nigga, they gonna dig in the vault, find your old pictures. Bro, they gonna that's just how I was this shit to go. Do interviews with a nigga, I forgot the nigga name. I was trying to do interview. I, I asked the nigga to do an interview. Nigga was playing. Mm -hmm. I come back to Baltimore one one day. I seen a nigga, nigga like, yo, when you gonna do that? <laughs> I know you ain't playing. <laughs> I know like now you like niggas is full of shit. But sometimes niggas just be talking too because they bump heads with you again. Mm. You gonna go through that too, niggas. Just see when you gonna do the interview. They know damn well they going they going they gonna curve you again. You feel what I'm saying? That's just yeah. a we just nah, bump I feel like niggas get the motion and they nah, really want to do it because they for feel sure, like it's beneficial for sure. Because rappers do that shit too. They see you and be like, bro, why you ain't? When we gonna do? When we gonna do the racket? I'm like, all right, bet I got the studio. I'm about to. As soon as y'all leave from where y'all at, mm -hmm. you don't never hear from them. Damn, you feel what man. I'm saying? And I'm cool with it. You I, still gonna do it? You still like if they bullshit? You still? No, nah, I'm more like fuck you. Once you That's play, fuck saying. you. I ain't really like. I don't really need nobody. Nah, facts. Nah, I don't, man. Fuck this. Thing. I can't wait to see. I, I told you this before. Like I feel like hopefully this can be like one of many, man. Because I think, like I said, bro, I, I, I can't. Res I can't show the respect enough. Like, and mm -hmm. I know people might not understand. Niggas from the city, I feel like they understand it. Yeah. But like. I can't express how the gratitude and the respect and the love I got for you because I seen it. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, and even like when we talked to the DM, you showed me the same love. And I even told my mom, like, it feel good to hear a nigga like you salute me. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So like, man, I, I appreciate you, bro. For I sure. Can't, um, I can't wait till we do this again on another level. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, it's only gonna um go crazy, man. When you when when the uh the drama shit coming? Friday. This all right, we're gonna drop this next week then. Yeah. Who 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 on that tape? I think you got the playlist. I ain't even uh, I don't even got a lot of big features on there, but uh, I think Babyface Ray on there. Uh, I got Leaf War, Nasg, Chaz. Leaf War fire, Chaz fire, Chaz fire, Chaz. He one of them ones like, any chance I can get him, I'll make sure somebody can hear him. Chaz go crazy. You might as well just start the, the label and sign niggas. I'm gonna uh. I'm I'm thinking about I'm gonna do that once I hit my next level. Mm. Once I hit my next level, you can do that. But like, like we got a lot of artists here who got that shit. Like, like I feel like Chad's one of them artists who he understand this shit. Like he remind me like I'm not taking I don't got nothing to do with nothing that he got going on. I ain't taking no credit or none of that shit. But he just remind me of that's why I, that's why I fuck with him so much. He remind me of my he understand this shit. Mm. And I feel like people don't know he as smart as he really is. He know he. I can't wait to see all. He got some shit with him. I, I can't wait to see all niggas like OTR too. OT OTR. He got some shit with him. I, I I can see it, bro. I can scope that shit from a distance, bro. Like I I know them I know them ones when I see it and it's beyond music though you know what I'm saying it's mm -hmm. beyond music, OTR one of them ones. Yeah, I can't even I ain't gonna do you like that, bro. I ain't gonna do you like that. What you want to hear my top five? I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't want to do, do it either. Yeah, we can't. Like you can't do that. Yeah, I don't want. to Yeah, do that. like you can't. Like I would I would ask anybody else, but you can't do that. Yeah. Who was? Who, all right, okay. Who was the? Uh, I'm not I, really like. I'm forgetful when it come to names, so somebody gonna be upset. Yeah, but not that I give right. a fuck though. You that's, feel what I'm saying? Who, but so let's not say top five. Mm -hmm. Who is the five 
that's putting on the the city and that's highlighting the city in a good way, I guess, in a major way. Tate slept on. I'm surprised you said Tate. That's crazy. Cause I'm a like that's cr- I'm different with this shit. Like I really like. I understand this shit from a different angle for real. And so that makes what, sense. what a that motherfucker makes sense. called what, what a motherfucker think lit. All right. Someone who saying, really lit. Nah, that makes right. sense. That makes I'm sense. I'ma say Tate. Got you gotta say shorty. You get you you're a liar if you don't, you know what I'm saying? This this uh, right here, my 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 people is a real nigga. <laughs> let me say, uh This is real shit. Tate, uh I like what I like I like where OTR going at. I like where OTR going at right now. Uh how many you said? Five. Five is tough. I think that's a- easy. Excluding myself? Nah. Me. One more now. I'm not talking about like people who just like who you, who you or who you just see around certain people. I'm talking about who really who really pulling some strings, yeah. like really like. Nah, Tate is a good one. Like Tate is a good one. Uh, uh I'm gonna go with Skull. Cause I, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Skull for the fact that the matter he brought he 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 brought shoulders with people from other places and he brings some attention here. Mm. He brings some attention here. What you think the biggest song that came out of Baltimore outside of like the R and B shits, like that niggas know. The biggest like record that came out of Baltimore. Yeah, that's easy. What? Bitch, you were. over. Um, it's what platinum. Oh, it's yeah. a platinum yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts, facts. It's a certified platinum record. No cap. Yeah, yeah, fact. Cause I'm thinking, um, what was school of shit? I be no I mean um, you talking about um, I'm a young baller. Yeah. That was big, but we talking about that compared to a yeah, certified cra- platinum crazy record. Yeah, not nah, facts. Nah, fact. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. That's right. That's right. Bro, I appreciate you, dog. For real, man. This shit was good, man. I like. I ain't. I ain't think we was gonna get into it like that. This. This was good, bro. I appreciate you for real. Mm-hmm. I wish you nothing but uh, success. Uh, anything else that you got going on that you want the people to know about? Gangsta Grill's dropping Friday. That bitch gonna be out by the time this come out, though, right? Yeah, we're gonna drop this next week. Already. We um. I wanted to. I did want to ask you um. When like are you gonna start talking more? Like you gonna start doing interviews? Yeah, but uh, like I told you, I feel like I feel like it take the value out of it when you do a bunch of them. You feel what I'm saying? So I just save it for when I got something. But you drop freestyles? Yeah, I drop because that's 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 part of the art. That's part of what I do. Okay, you know what I'm saying? When you gonna do my man? I don't, shit, I don't bro. talk to niggas for. I don't really who you talking about? Uh, bars on i95. Man, <laughs> man, what? They playing? I call that nigga right now. He played with me before. He probably don't even know. He probably don't. I don't. I don't, I don't even know if he probably remember that it was me that he did that to. But he played with me. Basically, I tried to get all bars on I ninety five at the L shit, and he was like, "I don't. I don't know. You think like basically like, is you like basically like, you think you can come hard? You like you think you can come hard enough? And then we had a date set. He ducked me on a date, mm. and then you know how I am. Like after that, I just was like, man. I should call that and I ain't gonna right lie, I'm gonna I'm a keep that shit a hundred. I told myself like I never do balls on I nine five. Damn. I told myself I said I never do balls on I, I I I felt disrespected because I watched some of the people that and I I didn't put up I didn't put up millions of views more than once. More than once. So how 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 am I being denied on a freestyle platform? You know what I'm saying? When I'm watching people come up there who ain't, you know what I'm saying? Who ain't produced what I produce? I wouldn't hurt the platform in no way. I only could help it go up. You know, even if my even, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't hurt it in no way. So that's I was all it was. for you then. Like, cause I like it's crazy that you say that, but that's why niggas gotta be careful. And that's why I salute um the nigga Gabe that do uh on the radar. Yeah. Because what I with all due respect, like niggas can hate all they want. Mm-hmm. But I see this nigga get he'll get a drink, but then he'll get a, a young nigga from New York. Cause you never know. You never know. You never Bro, know. You never know. That's why I say, like, and this this shit is so tricky. Like you play a nigga if you want, you gonna be shit. You gonna be looking yes. stupid the next week. He go crazy. Yes. Now you look like damn, bro. I missed it out. I, I no can't make this up. Mm-hmm. I ain't playing, but I wasn't. I ain't moved quick enough. The nigga, uh, I think his name No Cap. Yeah, from no DC. Cap. No, I don't no, know no, no, no. What's the nigga name? No Savage. No Savage. No yeah. Savage from DC, right? Mm-hmm. My dumbass. I'm doing DTL already on freestyles. Mm-hmm. 
he hit me to do it, and I wanted to do it, uh-huh. but I dragged my feet. Right. But I, I know, and I'm just being honest, I, I wouldn't have dragged my feet with somebody else. I ain't say no, uh-huh. but I dragged my feet. Dragged feet. I swear it was like six months, maybe, mm. maybe a year, if that. Man, nigga probably the hottest thing smoking. I hit that nigga like, yo, I'm trying. He get like that. <laughs> he like. He get like that. Yeah, bro. Like, when I get to it, I get to it type <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, but thank God I ain't playing. I ain't playing. But like, yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. Damn. I'm going to call that nigga like, y'all niggas drop the bag. Y'all fumble the bag. So you never would do that? I don't really care to do it. I mean, I honestly. I don't got nothing against it, but no. No, I get it. I just don't really care to do it. No, I get it. Because I tried to do it. Yeah. We had a like we had something locked in. And like I think at that moment they probably was fresh off for the shoe surf. And again, it's it's easy to smell yourself in this. Like that's my yeah. dog. I'm never gonna tell nothing bad, bad about yeah. it. But even me, I get to smell it myself sometimes. They yeah. was they probably was fresh off the shoe surf. Yeah. And it's easy. I think Detronada already had one up there too at this time, if I'm not mistaken. So it was like it was Detronada and the surf shit. Detronada, I think they did it at my studio. That was before or after. Cause they the top two that I know if you ask me. Detronada and Surf? Yeah. Surf number one for sure. Yeah. That's my guy. Surf is the one. No, it had to be at the surf because surf is the one that blew it, blew them blew up. Blew it up, yeah. Like, yeah. bro, I'm so glad for being a good person. I was talking to the nigga, shout out my guy C's, right? Nigga, this is when Al shit hot. Mm-hmm. I'm the hottest nigga. Mm-hmm. They, this is before surf, bro. He like, bro, yeah, I'm just he had just moved to Virginia or some shit. Like, I'm trying to look for artists. I'm like, bro, I got a couple artists. You I I never mm-hmm. been on no hate and shit. Showing love. Boy, not even a month later, mm. they dropped the surf shit, go crazy. Yeah. I'm like, thank God I wasn't no dickhead. Cause now we still got that relationship. But like, yeah. nah, man, fuck it. I appreciate you, bro, for real, man. All right. Shit was fire. YG Tech, J Hill, J Hill Podcast is right. We out. Yes. <laughs>